Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. Don't mind me. I'm just enjoying my day off from life. I deserve this because I don't get these ever, so I'm enjoying this while it lasts. Although, now that I think about it, what am I going to do when I return to life tomorrow? I have this to do, and I have that to do, and I don't know what to think now. Squid's Day Off is the episode where Mr. Krabs gets injured and leaves Squidward in charge, and Squidward leaves Spongebob to do all the work while he tried to take the day off, but kept going crazy. Like your shoes untied, this episode aired on November 2nd, 2000, and is the episode where Spongebob asks Squidward if he has done with his errands a total of 20 times, with 12 of those times being when he says, Have you finished those errands? This and episode 42, Your Shoes Untied, make up the first production episode of season 2. The first production episode of season 1 consisted of three individual episodes, while season 2 was the first season where the first production episode contains two individual episodes. This episode also features a bit of character development for Squidward. He is shown to actually care about the Krusty Krab in this episode. Up until this point, he is shown to not like his job and is always wishing to leave. He's shown to have been nice to Spongebob himself before this point, but doesn't enjoy working there. In this episode, he does show to worry about the Krusty Krab because he's always running back to make sure it was okay. He wouldn't do that if he was heartless and didn't give a shit about what happened to the Krusty Krab at all. You could argue that he did care about his job in episode 25, Employee of the Month, where he actively tries to get the Employee of the Month award, which normally he has no interest in. However, this is not the case. In that episode, Squirrel was only trying to get the award to show Spongebob up, not because he genuinely wanted to become a better employee. This episode shows him being concerned about the Krusty Krab potentially being destroyed while he was trying to take a day off, which shows that he does care, at least a little bit. Mr. Krabs also leaving one of his employees in charge while he's gone will also become a small plot point throughout the rest of the series. It's rather minor, but I wanted to say that anyway. So keeping all this in mind, let's watch this episode and watch Squidward go insane over the Krusty Krab. So the episode starts up and it's springtime in Bikini Bottom. Squidward was in the Krusty Krab wanting to leave because it was a Sunday and nobody was coming in on Sundays. Spongebob was ringing the bell, and this pissed off Squidward, so he slammed the register on the boat, causing it to burst open, and the coins spilled out. Mr. Krabs heard the coins clatter on the ground and rushed to pick them up, saying they were soiled. There was no visible soil on that floor. Mr. Krabs decided to clean the coins at the sink. Spongebob startled him, and Mr. Krabs ended up dropping his coins. His dime fell down the sink, so he reached down to grab it, but got his claw stuck, and he refused to let go of the dime, despite Spongebob's advice. Like that's his only dime? Cause it's not. Spongebob tried to help pull Mr. Krabs out, but his arms became detached, and he slammed into the wall, got hit in the head by a bunch of stuff, and passed out. When an ambulance came to take him away, Mr. Krabs left Squidward in charge. Squidward is happy because this gives him an idea. After Mr. Krabs was taken away, Squidward talked to Spongebob about a promotion. He would be working on the cash register and the grill at the same time, taking and making the orders and wearing two hats. Just the two hats make him do twice the work now? Squidward says he'll be leaving to do boss-like errands, which means he would be leaving to take the day off. He left the Krusty Krab and Spongebob was overjoyed with his new position. As Squidward was walking home, he was satisfied that he'd finally get a chance to relax. But then he gets the thought of Spongebob giving out change incorrectly, so he rushes back to the Krusty Krab to make sure all the money was still there. He asked for change for a dollar and saw Spongebob would have no problem with making change. Squidward made it back to his house and set up a lawn chair to relax and get a suntan. He chuckled that Spongebob would be bored at the Krusty Krab with no customers there, but then he imagined Spongebob setting the Krusty Krab on fire. He rushed back again, but he stopped thinking the odds of Spongebob setting the Krusty Krab on fire were slim to none. He's right, not only is nothing happening, but Spongebob has never caused a fire at the Krusty Krab up to this point. So what are the odds? When he actually saw a fire truck, he rushed back with a fire extinguisher, only to find nothing was wrong at all. Spongebob asked if Squirrel was done with his errands, and Squirrel just left again. At home, Squidward was trying so hard to relax and not go to the Krusty Krab, but he started hallucinating and saw Spongebob saying he'll destroy the Krusty Krab, 
and he freaked out and broke the mirror. Aha! That's why things have happened to him throughout the series. He broke a mirror. That's bad luck. He ran back again to find the Krusty Krab unharmed. He walked back home and tried to not go back to that damn restaurant, but he just kept freaking out and constantly ran back and forth only to find the Krusty Krab perfect and Spongebob asking Squidward if he finished his errands yet. Eventually, Squidward became so paranoid and thought that Spongebob was secretly making mistakes, which would make him come back, but Spongebob said that he never messed up. But Squidward said he would be waiting for that to happen and ran back home again. Back at home, Squidward locked and welded his door shut so he could finally relax. He sat in a bubble bath, but then he thought he heard Spongebob laughing, thinking he's spying on him to see if he's doing errands. Well, he does have a point. Spongebob would want to see Squidward every day all the time. Squidward looked outside, but what he heard was branches scratching against the side of his house. He then thought he saw Spongebob behind the curtain, but it was just a toilet. Squidward tried to calm down, but he hallucinated Spongebob in the bathtub swimming down the drain, so he ran out of his house naked to beat Spongebob to the Krusty Krab. He ran past Mr. Krabs outside the hospital, whose arms fell off again. When Squidward arrived back at the Krusty Krab, he saw Spongebob there, and as he talked, he started to regain his sanity. He stated his errands were complete, and Spongebob gave him his pants since Squidward was naked. Spongebob then realizes the Krusty Krab was empty because they never changed the close sign to open. Then Squidward's nose fell off, causing him to deflate, and the episode ends. So that was Squid's Day Off, and that was a hilarious episode. But before I talk about my thoughts, I have a small history to share with it. There was a time during my young life where I would stop watching the episode right after Spongebob says, He makes me proud to wear these hats. I thought that Squidward's face during this scene and the final scene of the Krusty Krab was a bit too ugly and kinda creepy. I get that he's supposed to look insane, but there was something about his face here that made me not want to watch those scenes. It might have been one of Squidward's pupils looking way too huge, or maybe when he was drooling, I don't know. Maybe it was also the eerie music that started playing during the scene when Squidward was locking his door. Over time, I definitely got over it and watched the episode all the way through. I still think it's a bit ugly, but now I actually find it funny because of how ugly it is. Seven year old me didn't feel that way, but I turned it around at some point within the following 10 years. I forget exactly when, but the point is I changed a bit since then. Well, maybe not really. But now with that out of the way, I'll discuss the episode as a whole. I love the entire episode. There are so many great things about it. One of my favorite scenes is at the beginning. When Squidward says he'll ring the bell when there's an order, then slams the cash register, and Spongebob says he'll make an order. The way Spongebob walked up to Mr. Krabs at the sink always cracked me up too. I love when Squidward blows away his thought cloud and runs down to distinguish the Krusty Krab when he's crazy, and when Spongebob and Squidward have facial hair made out of the foam from the fire extinguisher. Squidward's thought sequence of Spongebob and Patrick is so goofy, and of course, the part where Mr. Krabs gets hit on the head with all the random heavy objects is so classic. Squidward going crazy is awesome to watch. It seems like the characters going crazy is another recurring theme throughout the series. Spongebob previously went crazy throughout episode 13, Pickles. Mr. Krabs briefly went crazy and was hearing everybody around him squeak in episode 17, Squeaky Boots, and Squidward was going crazy here. And I do think it's a good recurring theme. It's pretty entertaining to watch, at least for the most part. It's awesome seeing Squidward run back and forth to the Krusty Krab and his house when he's going crazy, as well as when he's having a meltdown in his bathtub, which is kind of ironic when you think about it, since a bubble bath is a good way to relax. I also think it's nice to see Squidward actually does care about the Krusty Krab. It was never shown or even implied before this point, and here we actually see that he does indeed care. I've seen a few people say that Squidward going crazy over his paranoid thoughts is considered torture, but I totally disagree. Squidward could have chosen to just stay home and not go back to the Krusty Krab every two seconds, but he kept having those crazy thoughts, so he basically drove himself crazy by thinking of Spongebob messing up somehow. And regardless of him worrying about the Krusty Krab, what would make Squidward think Spongebob would destroy the Krusty Krab anyway? Spongebob is a hard worker and very competent. If there was a fire, he would react to it immediately. I get Squidward was worrying about the Krusty Krab, but it is a bit odd he thought Spongebob would destroy it. Aside from that, I do think it's cool to see that Squidward actually does care about the Krusty Krab, at least to an extent. 
Moving on, I love this episode so much. It's always entertaining to watch and still holds up to this day. There are so many funny moments that'll keep the viewers watching. Considering my personal history with this episode, I'm not sure if I'd say it's one of my absolute favorites of season 2, but I still think it's awesome. I would say it's a standout for its comedy and how weird Squidward looks, and is an example of how great season 2 is. Squid Day Off is an amazing episode. There are some awesome scenes like Squidward going crazy and Mr. Krabs getting hurt, and it's nice to see Squidward cares about the Krusty Krab, at least to an extent. I may have had my little history with the episode where I would only watch part of it, but I do still think it's awesome, especially when I got more comfortable with watching the scene that originally creeped me out a bit. But overall, it's still a great episode. And talking about it has helped calm me down a bit from when I was freaking out earlier, so I feel better and I can enjoy the rest of my day off from life now. Actually, maybe not. I'm starting to freak out again just by looking at the screen, and I don't know what to do now!